Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is one that so many of you have requested and that's ever since I did um, last week's podcast episode. If you didn't know, I've got a new podcast called Esme's Country Life and in there I talked about how Bruno's been really poorly. He's actually over there eating some grass in a moment. So don't worry, I'm gonna go over to him in a sec. Toby just decided that he wanted to be in the sort of beginning of today's video, so he is here. I thought I'd do a bit of a sort of like my routine with the donkeys, a little bit of a donkey update what paddock they're in, what they're doing. They're all looking a little bit um, not their best at the moment, which I pretty much say every single spring. Spring is like the worst time for the donkeys because they kind of molt or shed or lose all their sort of winter coat. So they're a little bit patchy at the moment. They're all quite old as well, especially after quite a hard winter. Like this winter has been so bad. We've had so much rain. It's just been so cold. I mean, I know that's normal winter, but I feel like it's gone on for longer. Like it's now May and it still feels like March. March. so um, it's been a bit of a weird one over here in the UK recently so Toby is a little bit skinnier than normal I feel like um, but anyway first thing I'm gonna do is get the donkeys their breakfast or get them their kind of brunch they kind of have brunch at the moment because it gets really light in the um, mornings now they do this thing where as soon as they know it's kind of like breakfast time they start braying um, which is like a donkey nay I guess spring <laughs> but um yeah they make a lot of noise so we don't give them their breakfast normally first thing with the horses because if not it will be like 4 or 5 a.m in the morning and they'll be waking up all the neighbors which isn't great especially Toby here who um does quite a pathetic bray he doesn't really bray properly he sounds like a he's kind of weirdly screaming so not always the best <laughs> hey Toby oh you're so sweet you have got a very dirty head I've got to say like literal bits of mud I can pick off your head here my friend hey I feel like donkeys are the biggest time wasters like I was just about to go and get them their sort of brunch and um, I've ended up giving Toby a bum scratch which it looks like he's very much enjoying look at his little face oh my goodness but yeah his bum um, pretty much has no hair on it because the birds like pick it out he's been scratching it against stuff I don't know what it is it, he looks a bit like a baboon in the sense that he has just a naked bum cheek but he's looking all right he's okay from certain angles he looks very pretty I mean no that's really mean you are very pretty Toby but his bum isn't looking the best is it no oh scratchies ear scratchies and then he always has a shake after I scratch his ears okay you ready now oh. There we go, <laughs> there's the shake. Good boy. Thing is, Toby does this every single year. I don't know why. I mean, he's obviously just want, having a bit of a scratch, but it looks, it doesn't look good. I mean, to put it frankly, no offense dad, but it looks like the top of my dad's head. He's got like a bit of a bald spot, but it's okay. By sort of June time, it all grows back and he looks beautiful. But um, Toby, you really need to stop just scratching your bum. I promise he doesn't have worms, we do worm them. So it's not that, it's just where he wants to get rid of all this fluff that he has. You have a lot of shavings in you as well, my friend, my fella. Look at that, you need a big old groom. We also have Willow who's just chilling here as well. He also needs a big groom. So a big pamper session for the donkeys today. This is like one of her favorite spots to lie down because um, here she can kind of see over the whole farm. Like she can look into my grandparents' house and have a little bit of a nosy. You've got some nice grass here. Sometimes she'll just like lie down here, have a little bit of a nibble, have a little bit of a snackage. But um, sometimes if I lie down, she'll lie her head like on me but of course um don't try this with most equines i've literally known willow my whole life um because you don't want to get squished but she's a very sweet girly aren't you willow you're so sweet so it looks like bruno has come over to tell me that he would like some food also that he wants to be in the video as well and get some attention hey mister because as i've said before he has been really poorly lately so i'm gonna get them their food stop having cuddles with them which i can't lie who doesn't want to lie in a meadow surrounded by donkeys cuddling them like this is the life <laughs> but um yeah there's a lot to update you on how he's doing about you know what the vets have said and things so um anyway i'll get them their breakfast and then i'll talk a little bit more about that hey bruni oh my boy my boy hey so i have one sleepy donkey 
down here and then I have one hungry donkey that wants his food here who keeps I was gonna say head butting me he kind of like scratches against me he's like come on girl get me my food get me my food okay I'm going Bruno I'm going I'm moving I'm moving on out I'm moving on out now I was gonna do like a this is my donkey's feeding routine when actually their feeding routine is kind of more of a this is how I um, kind of look after my elderly donkeys because um, when I has medication Bruno has to have his food made into a kind of pulp which I'm going to demonstrate now actually so this is my little measuring jug I have this is what I make Bruno's food in every day and then I'll just grab a just under a cup or like kind of like to that line there of Bailey's low-cal balancer pop that in there I always do Bruno's food first just because sometimes it can take a little while for it to go all squidgy and then I will just grab my tap put some water in and I put quite a lot of water in as well because I kind of make it into a Bruno soup um, so then I just kind of let that sit there sometimes I give it a little bit of a mix around with a spoon but that is pretty much <laughs> Bruno's food. And the reason why we do this, um, it was actually, I think it was back in maybe even 2018, like a really long time ago. Um, I actually filmed a video where Bruno went into hospital. He had surgery to have some teeth removed. Um, as he's got older, his teeth really aren't very good. Like he only has very few teeth left. He's got enough that he can still eat grass well, silly haylage. Sometimes there are some bits that he does spit out where, so he is a very greedy donkey, like he will eat more than like he'll put more in his mouth than he can chew at once so sometimes he does have to spit a little bit out but apart from that he's still fine chewing grass and haylage at the moment so um he has his little pulp in the morning because as i said before he is very greedy he will wolf his food down and um if you watched and also i feel like bruno happens to be the most i was gonna say joey's the most injury prone when it comes to like gory injuries but bruno is definitely the most senior i mean he is the oldest he's what 31 I want to say definitely in his 30s um, so he's getting on a little bit but he definitely seems to have the most senior equine problems so he's yeah had his teeth problems and then he had choke last spring and then had to go into hospital for that because he kind of went into shock um, and was really 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 poorly then as well and then he's been poorly recently with his stroke which I'll get on to a little bit more about um, I did talk a lot about it in the podcast but I'll kind of give you the overview of kind of the rundown of what's happened with Bruno but I would definitely recommend listening to that podcast episode if you'd like to find out a lot more sort of detailed information about the donkeys and about all their health problems but there we go his soup is getting there and we'll, I don't I think my spoon is in the wash so I'm just I'm just using like a butter knife um goes to show you the sort of high-tech resources we have in my feed room but there we go it's getting there you now i basically want to make sure that there are no hard bits in here at all because we he kind of like licks it up rather than choose it which is good because we don't want him to ch have choke again and he hasn't since which is good um because that would be very bad so um and then i'll start getting on the toby and willow's food now for Willow, she pretty much has kind of like the same thing that she's had for since I've basically been doing YouTube. So um, she has some balancer. I do like to make it wet though nowadays, which she really enjoys. It also helps her medicine stick to it. So if I just put a bit of water, there we go. Give it a little bit of a swill. Not loads because she doesn't have it like a paste like Bruno, like she still likes to chew it. But I find with a bit of water on, it, her medicine sticks to it. So she has, Equipalazone, which is um, kind of like a horsey painkiller. She's been on it for goodness, it's like as long as I can remember, definitely since maybe since I was like five or something. So she's been on it for a really long time. Um, this works really well for her. She has um, arthritis and has had arthritis pretty much since she was born. She's always had problems with her back, back legs. Her back legs, I feel like, have got worse in the last couple of years. Like they kind of a bit more bendy or a bit more wonky I think that's the best way I can describe it so she's basically been kind of lame her whole life um, and then I just put a little sachet of that in and give it like I don't want too much of it to stick to the bottom of the bucket although she's very good nowadays like she loves her food she will kind of lick the bottom of the bowl out just in case she does get a little bit full I never like to overface her I prefer to give her a smaller portion that she eats all of it of rather than leaves it and then she doesn't get all her medicine so um that is Willow's food done and I feel like Toby he is the only donkey at the moment that is you know 
fighting fit at the moment, so he literally just gets one cup of balancer, easy peasy, in the bucket. I actually sometimes put a little bit of chaff in as well, just so then he chews it a little bit. I mean, he likes chaff. The other donkeys aren't actually that bothered by chaff, so this is just Bailey's light chaff, um, which I'll just kind of mix around, so he has a little bit more to it, um, and there we go. That is pretty much the donkey's food done. By the way, just thought I would let you know because I know there'll be a lot of people commenting this because you guys know very well what colour coordinated kind of coloured things my horses will have. Bruno's colour is red. Um, this is not a red bucket, this is Duke's emergency spare bucket, which we have of. Um, so this is what I've been currently using for the last few days for Bruno's bucket because his red one, it is deceased, it is gone. It has passed away, it has got too many holes in, so it's unusable. So um, that's actually something I really need to do today. It's one, of those, it's one of those things where you know that you need to do it, but you just keep forgetting it because it's not a high priority thing. I need to order Bruno and probably some of the other horses because they have absolutely trashed their buckets. I need to order them a new bucket. So um, this is kind of what Bruno's food looks like. I might put like a tiny bit more water in, but this pretty much is like a paste. Um, so I just... Get a tad more of that, mix it around, and this pretty much is a Bruno, Bruno soup. He has soup for breakfast every morning, if you're wondering. And then I just kind of pour it in. There we go. And then he absolutely loves this, and then he'll just kind of lick the bowl out as well, and he'll just spend hours licking this bowl because it's got loads of just, yeah, Bruno soup in. And then I'll just wash this up in the sink, and that is pretty much making the feeds complete. Oh, just sprayed myself in the face. Hey, Toby. <laughs> you making your pathetic noises? Yes. What even is that? Hey. Oh, Bruno, you definitely need a bath. You're looking stinky. Okay. All right, Toby, you have yours first. Okay, Bruno, over here. Good boy. There we go. And I'll go and do Willow. Oh, you're having a big stretch after lying down for so long this morning. Hey, there we go. Good girl, well done. There we go, enjoy your breakfast. While the donkeys are all having their breakfast, I thought I would talk a little bit more about what's been wrong with Bruno, his stroke, what the vets have said. So the other day we found him like collapsed. They were actually in a different paddock. We've taken them up here so we can keep them, keep a bit more of an eye on them. We can see them a lot better down here. Like my grandparents literally live opposite so they can see if Bruno's okay. Um, we, he, they were down the bottom field and they have like a field shelter there and there's a little bit of a step to get into the stable and Bruno that morning was collapsed over the step and um, he was just lying there and he could not get up so I had to get my dad to help me and between the two of us we managed to get Bruno up onto his legs again and after that we were like oh my goodness so obviously the vet came out has looked at him at first they weren't sure if maybe he had a tumour on his spine and that was the reason why um, he's like collapsed and is having trouble walking and moving is a little bit wobbly but they think it's more likely that he's actually had a stroke. He's just been a little bit more wobbly on his legs like the last, after he we first found him collapsed for maybe like two weeks after that every single morning he wasn't he couldn't get up on his own like me and my family had to kind of lift him up and I think my dad actually quite badly hurt his back when trying to lift poor Bruno but um the first morning where we knew he'd got up on his own was he was absolutely covered in shavings that morning and he was up and he was awake and we were like oh my goodness like he's gonna be okay like he can get up on his own now since then like there's been like the odd time where we've needed to help him up but now he can get up on his own which is incredible which is so good and it goes to show he's getting stronger he's getting fitter he's getting better um because there was actually one stage where we were like is he gonna pull through is he gonna be all right so that was obviously a very horrible time for me and my family um he's all right now as you can see and i wanted although i spoke a lot more about this in the podcast i wanted to make a video kind of updating you with the donkeys in it showing what bruno's like that he's okay he's up to his kind of normal antics of headbutting people and asking for scratches and is absolutely wolfing down his dinner so it goes to show that in himself he's fine he's just a little bit more wobbly like we've been calling him jelly jelly bruno because his kind of legs are a little bit like jelly but he's doing well he's just finished his breakfast actually saying that so goes to show even though i've made it into a bruno soup he still eats it as quickly as possible like he's in some sort of 
food eating competition and then we'll just have a bit of grass and then we'll come back and lick the bowl out later but no he's doing well he is um definitely in need of a groom though because look at all this fluff that's coming out oh my goodness bruno what is this <laughs> it's definitely like i was gonna say it definitely feels like spring now but it doesn't really it was a cloudy cold well it's not that cold but it's just been so damp and dank and kind of dreary i know it's normal england but i swear we have like a little bit more sun this time of year but i'm gonna give the donkeys a bit of a groom now see he's gone back to his bowl gone back for a little lick bit of grass a little lick again that's kind of bruno's routine let me get my grooming brushes hey boy well done hey good boy for eating all your breakfast i feel like being groomed is one of bruno's favorite things like he will stop eating which you know, goes to show um, that's how much he likes it because eating is probably, I was going to say it's his top favourite thing, but being groomed, I think, just overtakes it. It's, he will stand here and just take in all of the grooming, all of the scratches. So, um, as you can see, he is very much enjoying it. His bottom lip always hangs so low and kind of sticks out when he's really happy or really relaxed. And he always does that when he's being groomed. Oh, Toby. I mean, there's literally nothing in there apart from bringing those saliva marks. So I don't think Toby's going to be getting much and they do eat like the same food. So it's fine. We don't have to worry about like contamination. I'm like Willow, who I'm keeping an eye on. I think she's just finished her breakfast, actually. But um, I'm making sure that the boys don't end up eating her medicine. But you know, as I said before, Bruno's definitely not back to his like normal self. Like he's not 100% how he was before his stroke, but he's a lot better than we could ever imagine and ever wish for like he does seem more like his normal self but he's just not quite there if you know what i mean um but i'm sure a lovely groom will make him feel a little bit better as well he also has some pseudo cream on his legs where he just has some sore bits where when he was lying down for so long he just had a few kind of bits they're a little bit more sore so that's why he's got white legs at the moment um yeah, this brush is actually working very well at getting a lot of your fluff out, Bruno. You're looking like a very smart donkey now. The other side, though, I feel like is going to be a little bit more tricky. That is an absolute state where I think he's been lying in his stable all morning in a bit of a gross patch. The donkeys are all looking so much better after their groom. I kind of feel like at the moment Willow has like her summer nose and especially like around her eyes you can see where she's losing it but then her forehead is just still so fluffy um so they've got a lot of coat that still needs to come out of their like winter coat the thing is i've been grooming them like almost every single day and still there's just it looks like it's been snowing around willow there's so much sort of white fluff but anyway they are looking so much better now they're looking very smart very pretty um also the other day it was actually world donkey day so um i always kind of reflect on what an easy and lovely life my donkeys have every world donkey day there are a lot of working donkeys out there that live pretty a pretty hard life when mine are literally just living their best life literally out in a grassy paddock chilling all day lying down when they want to i mean all of them have been doing a lot of lying down recently but um yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's sort of donkey update talking a little bit more about how they're all doing as they are all quite senior donkeys at the moment especially bruno he's still not 100 percent, but he's a lot better than he was a few weeks ago so we're just kind of keeping a really close eye on him obviously taking all of our vets advice and everything with him and making sure that you know we're giving him the best life possible and that's really important to me especially for all of my equines um but anyway willow here is looks like you're falling asleep girl i think she really enjoyed that they always find it so relaxing having a good old groom but 
Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's donkey update. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Um, also, please like turn on notifications because I've been posting a lot of like more bonus videos recently. I've actually recently been posting like almost three times a week because I've got um, obviously Friday's normal video. I've been doing like a bonus video on like Saturdays or Wednesdays. And then I've got the podcast out every Sunday on YouTube as well. So yeah, look out for those. Um, more donkey updates obviously coming soon as well keep you updated on how they're all doing but yeah Willow here she loves an ear scratch you enjoying your ear scratch anyway I'll see you next time bye good girl forehead scratches forehead scratches oh yeah shake shake shake